What is going on YouTube? This is your boy Jason back again for another video. In today's segment, we are going to be talking about the uh, Speed Factory front wheel drive to all wheel drive conversion kit. So let's get right into it. So as most of y'all know, I mentioned on the channel, I had ordered the uh, Speed Factory Racing um, front wheel drive to all wheel drive, um, I guess, uh, shift fork modification or whatnot. So I'll walk y'all through it. Um, basically, it's this shift fork right here, number one for one two slider. Um, uh, it was a pain in the ass because I had to mix match a bunch of gears and everything like that. Um, but anyways, so on the pinion shaft right here, I had to uh, right here in between the uh, one two slider, I had to add a uh, shim that came with their kit. It's a direct bolt in kit. What I really liked about it. Uh, that went in there and then I pretty much had to use this is a whole GSR gear stack on the uh, pinion shaft then right here on the counter shaft it's a full GSR gear set as well right here is a uh, fifth gear CRV uh, gear and then up here also is a fifth gear CRV gear so also what I had to do was I don't know if y'all could see it in here but right here there's a shim which brings the uh, counter shaft up and that I guess that way right there I kind of made a little jig um, from a uh, old old bike that I had uh, had to use the clamp to measure the uh, sh uh, shaft play that was in here also here's another shim that came with their kit this is for the uh, reverse idler gear um, I have to look for the instructions but pretty much if you're using a uh, GSR I guess a gear set and this ratio right here has to match the ratio for the uh, reverse so I pretty much used this uh, reverse idler gear that shim has to be in place to match the height of the uh, CRV pinion shaft and uh, yeah also I just want to mention to you guys as well that I know there's a bunch of controversy out there on the internet about Oh, well, you're going front wheel drive to all wheel drive. Everything's going to be off in the rear end because of the ratios and all that, whatever, whatever. So the ring gear under your differential, as long as that does not change, the ratio in the rear end ain't going to change either. It's going to stay the same based off of the ring gear underneath your differential. So say if you changed your ring gear underneath your differential for the transfer case, then of course it's going to change the obvious, um, you know, ratios in the gearing. But if you keep the same gear rate or the same ring uh, gear underneath here, it's going to match the rear end. So there's going to be no, I guess, uh, type of uh, gearing differences from the transmission to the rear end. Just want to get that out of the air. I've done a bunch of research, uh, done a bunch of I guess mathematic equations to kind of guess what everything's gonna be and yeah it's all just it's straightforward stuff it's it, it's kind of confusing getting into gearing and everything like that being that a front wheel drive you really don't have to deal with all that stuff and then you're going to all wheel drive and it's just like a whole different ball game so as y'all can see GSR gear, uh, gear stack GSR cuff I had to reuse the uh, CRV bearing for the uh, casing. These are CRV bearings as well. You have to use them. So that's that's this segment right here. That's that's the transmission. Um, I want to also get into something else with y'all. Um, I, I made mention in the past that uh, FCS race. I was gonna get their uh, differential mount kit and everything. Well, my buddy Jason Park from FCS Race, the owner, um, reached out to him. You know, kind of like I had made mention in the past, and. Uh, yeah he kind of uh hooked us up on the channel with a partial sponsor so proud to announce that you know jason park from fcs race is on board the uh, race program for the car which is going to be pretty damn epic um that's one of the bigger names in the drag racing industry if y'all don't know go check them out at fcsrace.com or on facebook uh, fcs race also instagram um so we'll go ahead and show y'all exactly what he hooked us up with. So here's the uh, differential mount right here. 
This is baller stuff, guys, right here. This is this is really baller. So it's all billet aluminum. Look at that stuff. It's all billet. Beautiful, beautiful. Don't get me wrong, the Hub City Performance stuff is great also, but when you have somebody like this that's, you know, on board your race program, it's a whole different story. Here's the uh, differential mount for the uh, top of the... Uh, uh, the differential right here this right here there's no welding required these holes right here use nut certs or rib nuts whatever you want to call them they bolt right into the frame of the uh, car which makes life a whole lot easier here's the differential right here that we're going to be using uh, we are we have sourced out to a uh, gear x to see if they can kind of i guess help us out with the uh, lsd for the rear end but we're still waiting on confirmation from that it's another thing that Jason Park hooked us up with is a uh, 1.9 liter fuel cell. Um, I can't thank Jason Park enough for helping us out on this. You know, for the 2020 race season, it's going to be awesome. Look at that, baby. It's just tiny. It's going to sit in the front bumper right here. Um, as y'all can see, I took a transmission apart. You see the needle bearings right there and then the differential or, well, differentials right there. Um, I took apart like two or three transmissions just to get the gearing right for this right here that I wanted and to find gears that were actually good with synchros. So, yeah, but that's that, guys. This is pretty much the whole video, as y'all can see right here. I mean, yeah, it's pretty awesome. This right here, guys, though, is what I wanted to make mention of on the uh, channel. This stuff right here, there's hardly any videos out on YouTube about how to do this right here. So, I mean, if y'all have any questions, comments, concerns, go ahead and leave comments in the, you know, in the, in the drop box below or in the comment section. And I will answer anything that y'all want to know. Um, the instructions that Speed Factory sent out are pretty, pretty much straightforward. But if you're not, I guess, into transmissions or have built a transmission before, it's, it's kind of tricky. As I have never mess with the transmission you know before kind of like i just stated but all this stuff is just pretty much straightforward stuff um so yeah guys that's going to conclude today's video if y'all like it go ahead and uh, give the channel a thumbs up give the video a thumbs up it'll help us get the name out there as made mention in the past um i will be uploading more videos and stuff like that i want to in install the uh, differential today or the mount today so i might make a little video on that and we'll upload that as well. But go ahead, like, comment, subscribe. And we'll catch you on the next one, guys. Peace out.